This is a CT scan of one of the last remaining Tasmanian tiger joeys in existence. And this is what it looks like beneath its skin. As far as we know, there's only 13 preserved pouch young Tasmanian tigers left anywhere in the world. Back in 2018, researchers used micro CT scanners to look inside them for the very first time. You're looking at the vital organs of a nine and a half week old pup. You can see his brain, his lungs, liver, and even his skeleton. The jaw is only about 20 centimeters from head to tail, but because the model is such high resolution, you can make out details like a windpipe and the tiny web of air tubes inside the lungs. The scans show the joeys at five different stages of its early development, giving the team of scientists and the world a never before seen blueprint showing how a baby Tasmanian tiger would have matured inside its mother's pouch. It's now being used in another project that's hoping to bring the species back from extinction. These scans were so clear, the team noticed something peculiar. This guy right here, and another of the specimens had tiny bones in the pelvis known as epipubis, which meant they could not be Tasmanian tigers. It's thought they were either Tassie devils or quolls all along. This finding wiped millions of dollars off the value of the Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery's collection. Researchers are increasingly using micro CT scanning because it helps them see inside the subjects they're studying without the need to cut them open. Regular CT scanning has been a staple in the medical industry for decades, but micro CT is much higher resolution and allows you to scan much smaller objects. Researchers hope this technology will help open the doors to the hundreds of millions of specimens in museum collections right across the world.